one of the things that make this course so unique is the emphasis <coughs> that is being given to um, taking seriously dealing with problems that come out from, uh, from collaborative learning. What, it, what this means is that it's needed to give time and space uh, for coping together with challenges, for giving each student personal attention, for reflection on learning as part of the way they deal, the student deal with uh, the conflicts that stem from the collaborative le learning. Um, the, this discussion helps to different voices to be heard. Um, and also uh, there is a more chance for collaborative development of ideas and understanding among the students. Uh, what also makes this uh, a discussion unique is that the professor um, is actually function as a facilitator of this discussion. He's not always so active. Sometimes just the students um, talk together and uh, listen to each other without his uh, intervention. But he's there, sometimes asking them uh, questions, sometimes uh, making remarks, or, give, or sometimes he gives comments to different students. Uh, but how can uh, the use of wiki help or enhance the um, uh, dialogical learning in this course? Well, the, uh, there are three uh, main uses of wiki in the course. The first one is that uh, the site is used like a full management, uh, learning management environment. Um, everything is, is happening through the course website. All, all the bibliography, the learning tasks, all that is needed for the, for the students to know what's going on, the schedule, um, everything, uh, how the, the students will be evaluated in the course. So this is one part. The second part is the things that are connected to the content, uh, bibliography, um, learning materials, and so on. The third part, which is maybe the most unique, is the personal reflective uh, diaries space, which is uh, somehow parallel. You don't hear me well. Okay, sorry. Thank you for that. Um, so what makes the use of Wiki in this course so unique, parallel to the, u to the, uh, uh, to the feedback discussion we uh, talked about before, is the personal reflective diaries space. This is a unique educational space that is actually what, what usually is the user page was converted here to be a, a personal reflective journal. Uh, this is one example of what the students do in this uh, space. They actually um, write in it like it was a journal. Um, they can... They can... Uh, they, can, they relate reflectivity, reflectively to their impressions, <coughs> inside difficulties and achievements. There are three, three directions that they can relate their reflectivity to. First, they write about their individual experience in the classroom or in the wiki, um, dealing with the course requirements. Um, through this writing, sometimes they can learn more about themselves as learners. And what we know uh, from now is that part is very important for them to understand why they do things, uh, how can they do it differently, and so on. Another very important part is that they write here about their collaborative interactions with other students. Um, and the other part is that they write also about their life experiences, things that are not connected directly to the lesson or to the learning material, but that, that they bring with them to the uh, learning uh, environment. And sometimes, sometimes what, uh, that, what, uh, that is, it makes it very, very special and interesting 
that sometimes when students, uh, when one student talk about his la or her life experience, he uh, find a way to uh, connect it to the ideas that are being learned in the class. For example, here is uh, something that one student wrote uh, after, um, after the feedback, uh, the reflection uh, discussion. Um, when, and the, this uh, feedback discussion was held after the students have some uh, learning assignment uh, together, like uh, there were three students working together. So he wrote like this. After a short discussion with Dina and Hadar, all names are of course uh, not the real names, I started erasing, changing, rephrasing, and in fact, setting aside all what was written under the original term. Only then, and he said, after uh, he went to his home and some time uh, went by, he, uh, only then did I start to think, who gave me the right to do so? In the feedback session that uh, uh, was before that, uh, he, got some, he was criticized by other students about it. But then there uh, also, uh, like in a, in a regular wiki, there is a conversation page. And in this page, students uh, write to each other uh, things they want to uh, convey, to remark or ask questions. And in this case, uh, this student got two remarks from the two students who work with him. One wrote to him, the easiest will be to put the blame on you, but what about my responsibility? The second student, after she read uh, what he wrote and the, this student wrote, she wrote to him, I agree, it's important to get to know uh, the people you work with. What they wrote actually was uh, much more than this. I just uh, brought uh, um, just uh, one sentence to, um, to show this. What we have here actually, what the wiki uh, gives uh, or the way it enhances the dialogue is that there, it gives and many more possibilities for dialogue. For example, when one student uh, writes something in his diary, um, some other student can answer him back. So they have um, direct dialogue. Uh, but uh, it can be also a very uh, uh, indirect dialogue. Well, one student just reads something that other student wrote before, and then he just writes it in something about it in his diary uh, without um, a directly a comment to the first student. Uh, another thing is that uh, every student may uh, participate in many different dialogues during the week that passes from one uh, in-class meeting to another in-class meeting. Okay, so uh, th we are talking about two, uh, two aspects of enhancement. One is the personal social aspect. It allows for a better view of each student as a unique individual. Um, another thing is because everyone uh, writes not only about uh, things that are connected to learning, but also about, uh, about her or his life. They also put in, the, uh, in uh, this space sometimes things that are um, showing specific skills they have or specific hobbies they have. Um, so uh, all the students can uh, get to know each other better. Uh, it en it enables uh, personal attention um, between the students, but uh, uh, also very important uh, from the course professor. Uh, he can see if somebody has problems with a specific, um, a specific issue in the learning. He can see if somebody has something that uh, troubles uh, her mind or he, uh, his mind. Uh, so he can pay attention to it and it, it gives something very special to the whole course. Uh, and so it's deepening a sense of intimacy in the learning community. The second part is the theoretical cognitive aspect. Um, it gives time and space for each and every voice, as we said before, but here in a different uh, way. It, it gives uh, first an exposure and also an exchange of ideas and insight, uh, which help, uh, helps to continuous development of ideas. 
um, actually we found um, many examples of how uh, one student um, start uh, to um, uh, start to write a, an insight that he have. Uh, he before he says, okay, I read this or that in somebody else's uh, diary, and now I um, continue developing it. So if we look back at this slide, in all measures, um, the wiki uh, help and enhance. Uh, the, the dialogical uh, discourse and, of, and the first thing and maybe the most uh, important thing is that it, it gives more time and, spa and space and in effect um, more channels for the communication between the students themselves and between them and the teacher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And if if somebody have uh, somebody has questions, I can answer. Okay. Vasya. So um, now Vasya is going to talk. She's from Bulgaria. Enjoy. So thanks again for coming. <laughs> or thanks for those who uh, come here for the first time. Um, the second lecture of mine today is again prepared with my colleague Maya Marinova. Uh, we are from Bulgarian Wikipedia. And uh, for those who were in the first lecture, maybe you remember I mentioned that we have already four years of experience uh, in university wiki projects. And now I'm going to elaborate on this. Keep it short. Um, again, a couple of words for introduction. Bulgarian version of Wikipedia is um, already about eight years old. Um, it has more than 100,000 articles. We are in this club. Uh, so it can be considered a relatively big one. Um, the active community is about 150 people on a monthly basis and about 40, uh, 30 people on, uh, say, weekly or daily basis, so uh, we're not really a very big um, community. Uh, but as you can see from the uh, last statistics, by sample of articles, we are number 12, which means that traditionally we are more focused on quality rather than quantity, or if I can say it in other words, we don't care so much on quantity. <laughs> Uh, and we are not very tolerant toward micro steps. Uh, but uh, in general, uh, this raises some um, issues. Uh, Bulgarian Wikipedia is not very popular in offline world rather than in online, so uh, it needs to be promoted. It needs to, um, we need to have um, outreach to universities. So in the last four years, starting from fall 2007, um, uh, we started um, conducting university wiki projects so far in three Bulgarian universities, two state and one private, uh, in five different subjects. Um, and um, as you can see, some of the courses um, have second editions, and uh, we are sure that these online media and PR and political sciences will have uh, more editions. The teachers are really very prone to, to do this with their teachers. Uh, an important thing which hasn't been noted here is that in two of these um, five cases, actually, the, the teachers were Wikipedian by themselves. They initiated because they were first Wikipedians, and then uh, they decided to do this. In two of the cases, um, actually electronic learning and online media and PR, I mm, utilized contacts, my personal contacts with university people, uh, lecturers, um, and explained to them how good it is to introduce writing in Wikipedia in their educational practices. And they said, okay, we are, we'll opt for this experience. 
Um, and uh, actually, the, the second one, online media PR, is really very, very fruitful, as you can see from the figures. And in the last case, political sciences, it's interesting that um, the teacher didn't announce us in advance that he is going to, to make such a project. Um, it was good of him that uh, he advised his, teach, uh, his students to um, uh, register their accounts in a likewise manner, with one and the same um, beginning, so that it was easy to get track of, of it. But we only understood that there is such a project about one month later when there was really very high, high tide of um, copyright violations, machine translations, vandalisms, uh, test edits, and everything that um, is a sign of a lot of uh, newbies coming around. So only then I managed to to discover who, who stays, uh, stays behind this wiki project and tell him, um, I think that you've got a problem. <laughs> do you need help? And he said, yes, I do need help. I, I acknowledge that I should have contacted the Wikipedia community prior to starting the project. So we've had different, three different traits of behavior and three different uh, experiences. So it's really um, good to uh, have uh, such experience. Now, this is one chronological infographic just to show you the difference between Bulgarian and English Wikipedia with respect to number of articles, time, uh, the moment when uh, the university wiki projects were started in both projects, and where are we? Uh, you can see we have seven editions of uh, five different uh, university projects, and there are more than 150. But what is interesting here, which I would like to note, is that actually in English Wikipedia, uh, yes, there are a lot of uh, wiki projects, but I suppose that mentors of these projects um, only mentor one and the same project if it is uh, concluded regularly. Well, in our case, me and Maya have um, <laughs> I uh, have um, looked over all of these projects. We have mentored all of them. So we can share very different, very, mm, very different and big uh, experience which we had, although it is only seven projects. And I s I'm sure that some of the conclusions which we will um, provide um, will be something that it's easy to get or you have already reached it. But maybe there are some interesting new things for you. A um, couple of uh, slides for what lessons were taught to these students. Because um, in the beginning, actually not all, but the most successful university projects, um, I ex uh, exclude this one which started without our knowledge, um, started with an introductory lecture. Uh, during this introductory lecture, it was about um, one to two hours. Um, we try to explain basics about Wikipedia, which uh, they are supposed to know prior to editing it. Uh, we explain what are the main content policies, um, five pillars, uh, the copyright and free licenses. Um, I have to say that it's not usual for students to, to know about free software and free licenses. Maybe only students in law and computer science are supposed, but they're not obligatory, uh, they, they're not obligatory know about this. So this, sh this have to be explained, and it raises a lot of issues, as I uh, will show you in a while. Um, we explain how to start and develop an article, how to write it in an encyclopedic way, how to illustrate it, and very important, we explained to them that we have mechanisms of control and monitoring and uh, detection of copyright violations, machine translations, um, vandalisms, so that they be forewarned that if they try to, to do this, um, they're going to be disqualified from the project. Mm. In the end of the introductory lectures, we we'll give them opportunity to ask any questions they want. Of course, the main question always is, and the first one, is Wikipedia reliable? And how reliable can it be given that anyone can edit it? Um, they, they always or must often think that uh, they're going to catch us on some tight place with this question. but we simply have to explain to them that it's not going to be very qualitative if uh, people like them who have the time, who have the knowledge, uh, who might be have the interest in different topics, don't come and edit it and don't, don't come and help it. So it very much, uh, we return the ball, as we can say. <laughs> um, another question, why is Wikipedia often reported to be forbidden in school and universities? This is one question which usually uh, bothers them. 
uh, how to discriminate between good and bad articles, and when we start talking about real activities which they are supposed to do, uh, the question is how to, uh, how to start my own article. Um, one lesson learned here is that we should not hide or belittle the problems which Wikipedia inherently has, uh, because some of the students already have a notion of, of these problems and they come biased. So it's better to, to face this concern and uh, calmly and, and just speak with them and not try to hide or belittle it. Uh, during the wiki projects actually are, is the time when most of the questions come, when, when students start editing the articles, start collaborating with the community, and um, they have a lot of concerns that have to be addressed. Um, this is why in the beginning, uh, while setting up um, uh, this, such a project, we, me, Maya, and uh, the teacher try to recruit other Wikipedians for mentors. Two people is definitely not enough for, say, 70 people uh, who are students, absolutely not enough. So we try to recruit a couple of more people from the community and um, they, they also take charge of um, answering to such questions. Most common questions are how to format my articles. Um, yeah, what is, after all, what is the problem with verbatim copying? We do it every day <laughs> and we have to explain what is the problem. Um, how to cite my sources. When they come to the idea that it's good to cite their sources, then the next question is how to cite them, because technically it's a bit difficult. Um, they always have uh, the concern, not always, but often have the concern that someone else can edit their, can touch or see <laughs> their articles. So uh, we have to explain that it's um, co-authorship, it's not single authorship of, uh, in Wikipedia. Uh, and uh, again, the, the question about multimedia and how to upload and use it, this is a really big issue. Uh, one lesson learned, help, but don't overhelp. If we, if we help uh, a student, it's good, but if we do things instead of them, without just showing them how to do it, this is bad. This is a sure way to lose them as long-term editors. Now, this was all for introduction, and now the lessons learned. Um, in the next diagram, I'll show you um, one invention of me and Maya, which um, was published about one year ago to a uh, conference called Innovations in Management of Innovations. So there was a section, special section on uh, management of educational innovations, and uh, we got an invitation to write something for it. So we tried to um, derive the best of our experience, and we made this diagram showing the mm, relations between the three groups of stakeholders in such a university project. Teachers, students, and Wikipedians. And um, the intersection of these sets um, give idea of the stages of a wiki project in which uh, the, the project evolves naturally. Uh, in the beginning, Wikipedians and teachers prepare design, do, do some preparatory work. Uh, they des design the rules and the time schedule uh, and a lot of things have to be taken into consideration in this step. Uh, we have to consider the form of education, whether it's regular or not, uh, or for instance, um, um, it's not a formal education, but informal or non-formal, whether it's an elective course or mandatory, what is the workload of people, what is the discipline, because different disciplines have, um, can be uh, reflected in Wikipedia in different ways. So. Um, we also take into consideration individual and group capabilities of people. So uh, there is lots of work uh, to be done here on this stage. On the second stage, this is the real phase of uh, content development. And uh, here students develop articles. Uh, Wikipedians are helping, discussing the problems, uh, uh, showing how to uh, do things better. And teachers are helping from the side of the subject itself, the, the nature of the discipline which is read. Um, for instance, they help for uh, factological truth of, uh, of the content which is included. And they also on this uh, uh, stage um, take, uh, make perception, uh, yeah, they perceive how their students are progressing. Uh, the third stage is um, a stage which we don't have anything to do. <laughs> it's uh, when students, um, 
for instance, they can make public defense of what, have, uh, what they have written. It's important just to show that they have not just typed something or copied and pasted from somewhere, but they have learned, they have understood what they have uh, included uh, in the form of articles. So, uh, and in this uh, moment, teachers are also uh, evaluating their work and uh, give them scores. And eventually, this is why it's another cover in brackets, eventually um, students may return in the Wikipedian community as long-term contributors. I have to say that it hasn't happened so far. <laughs> um, but one thing which um, immediately can be said that good students and good art articles appear in the very beginning. Students who firstly join wiki projects are those who are most motivated from what from our lectures from from our uh, cooperation and those who come in the end of the term are those who are mostly motivated by the mark so they're not real potential wikipedians um, more more lessons learned um, it's important not to force students to to take part in such wiki projects. There should be an alternative. This must not be the only way to take their mark because otherwise they, they are not, they're not happy. They are trying to um, game the system and um, it's very important to preserve the spirit of volunteerism. Um, some students cannot, I, I, I'm sorry to say, but they cannot formulate titles and the scope of the articles well. They are either too broad or too narrow, or they are in some essayistic style, and they, they write in persuasive style, not encyclopedic, so uh, they need help in the beginning. So we, we can help by providing them a sample list of topics from them to choose, and for instance, links to English Wikipedia or other versions of Wikipedia where the article exists and is well uh, written without problem templates, so that they can give, they can have a hint what is supposed for them to do. Um, it's also good, um, I would say mandatory, but nothing in Wikipedia is mandatory, so it's good to provide students with regular feedback. Uh, after the first um, wiki project, we felt that we need some system of uh, um, making them aware of what's going on, so we invented these uh, green checks and red crosses, and red crosses should always be accompanied with comments on their talk pages about what's the problem with their article. Um, as I said, setting up a um, realistic time schedule is very, very important. And here is one sample um, schedule for the fall semester, at least in Bulgarian University, starts beginning of uh, October and finishes about the end of uh, January. So you can see the distribution in, in time of uh, different stages, like choosing the article topics, research and preparing their texts, uploading them, then discussing with us, uh, correcting when, whenever necessary. And in the end, there is one strict, very strict um, period when we do not allow any further choosing of articles or any other um, work on article just because it is overwhelming. We need time to, to evaluate everything. So the more people are in the, the project, the, the, most, the more strict this um, schedule has to be um, kept. A couple of lessons learned about the Wikipedian community and the newbies. Um, in the best scenario, teachers shall have personal experience. I don't say that they should, shall be experienced Wikipedians, but they should know what, what it's all about. They should be aware of the licenses, uh, and they should, uh, well, in the best case, they, they are um, Wikipedians. If not, then recruiting mentors, um, Wikipedians, is very, very important. Um, setting up a special coordination page is also very important so that teachers, um, you know, they keep track together with the Wikipedia community of what's going on and for students to prevent edit conflicts. In the beginning, before we um, insisted on uh, having all students uh, writing themselves in this coordination page, it was very often that two people say, I chose one the same topic, what the next? In the beginning, it was hard to explain to them that both of them can work on it. Everyone insisted on working on separate articles. So, um, 
as we know from recent surveys, community often lacks tolerance towards newbies. And yeah, I can say that if the community is not uh, forewarned that there is going to be a um, uh, university project and a high tide of newbies is coming, uh, then they are going to react very negatively. Uh, this, is, uh, this happened twice uh, when we didn't for, forewarn them in advance or maybe some people didn't understand and there was really very high tension. So um, in order to to make it um, really um, common and community uh, work not only for teachers and students, we have to ask them and to, to make sure that all the communication about and discussions about uh, the wiki project appears on the publicly uh, and transparently on the uh, Wikipedia talk pages. A lot of people are trying to exploit email, Skype, Facebook, whatever you, you think about, but it's only on wiki pages when it works best. And as I said a while ago, uh, for the purpose of wiki project, students can be tipped off to register likewise usernames so that it's easy for us to, it's only from logistical point of view. Uh, of course, we explain to them that they are not obliged to uh, review their personal names, they're not obliged to, uh, well, for the teacher it's important in order to know what marks to put, but for us it's not. And later, if they want, they can um, forget about this account, make a new one, and continue registering and uh, continue editing like um, regular Wikipedians. Another very important thing is that students must be made aware that we are volunteers. Even mentors are not staff members of their universities and they're not obliged to, to endure everything that their <laughs> teachers might be uh, indulged to endure, uh, endure, but we are volunteers and they have to treat us with respect. We had c cases when students misbehaved in a really very, very bad way and um, we are still trying to, um, to do good and not to uh, explain to them that they are wrong, but when they treat us with uh, not enough respect, we simply lose the mentors, not only for this project, but for future projects. So it's important. And on our side, we can treat them with e goodies. <laughs> These are <laughs> free, free pictures from Wikimedia Commons, which I have put on the user pages of, um, and user talks of uh, students who did well, uh, who had their articles written well, sized, uh, cited properly, and uh, I just wanted to show them my appreciation and support. And I have to tell you that there are a couple of people who ask, where is my goodie? I wrote second good article, where is it? Uh, so it's, it can be really very big motivation in the form of uh, something sweet left on the talk page. Two things about uh, lessons learned through about multimedia, copyright issues. In Bulgarian Wikipedia, um, I have to tell you that we, a couple of years ago, we banned fair use. So nowadays, it's very difficult, especially to newbies, to, to explain to them that some sort of uh, images which are allowed on English Wikipedia are not allowed in Bulgarian and everything that they can take and use can be only free li freely licensed and accessible from Wikimedia Commons. It's very difficult to explain most of the students that copyrights are really big issues for big issue for us and we have to respect it duly. So yeah, this is not an advice, this is just a lesson learned that we have to spend more time or or say students, mm, forget about the images so far. Another thing is that, um, however, despite of the copyright issues which many people have, it's good to, for them to make the most of the free content which Wikimedia offers. And um, I will just give one example, which my colleague Maya uh, discussed in one of her articles, uh, not article, papers, research papers. Uh, she gave an example how a foreign language um, students and teachers can make use of spoken uh, articles on English Wikipedia um, in the form of dictations and exercises for listening comprehension because this sort of articles, spoken articles, are about 25% slower. Um, people who, who speak the articles uh, speak them slower so that everything or almost everything is easy to comprehend and it can be used in different educational contexts. So, um, another thing which I haven't mentioned here, but for instance, using simple English Wikipedia. It's also a good case when 
uh, teaching foreign languages, actually English as a foreign language. Um, about the wiki technology, uh, we have to explain to them that Wikipedia contributing and writing uh, uh, in Wikipedia is not the only way to introduce wiki in their educational practices. Actually, students in informatics, for instance, they can use wiki for coordination during software development, for technical writing, for using um, for user manuals. Uh, I think that almost all big companies nowadays have their user manuals help pages over wikis. So it's good for them to know the technology and make use of it. Students, for instance, students in project management can practice teamwork using wiki. And students in psychology and philosophy can explore conflicts, group dynamics, um, conflict resolution, individual motivations, all making use of Wikipedia and looking at the edit without making any single edit. And now this is practically the last slide, but it's going to be a bit gloomy. Excuse me for this, but we have to face reality. Students are often indiscriminate and uncritical of the sources of information they use. As I said in, during my first lecture, um, it's often the case when you can see students citing source Google, which is really dramatic. <laughs> uh, many students also have major problems in setting up a definition, defining basic concepts which they are supposed to use on a daily basis to, to, to be well aware of, that, of them. Sometimes, for instance, we had um, uh, students in um, mass communications in third grade which already were working in um, public relations companies and advertising companies and they should be not only in, in their uh, studies, uh, in their professional uh, realization, they should be aware of, of basic terms which, well, they could not define. Um, it's really, it's really very big problem. Um, students are often used to submitting verbatim copied texts and compilations from different sources without properly citing them and without even understanding that they cannot present this as. Um, own authorship. Uh, you cannot make a compilation from free um, texts which were written by other people and say this is my work. And we have to explain to them very often that this is not their work, this is a compilation based on other works. So, but yeah, maybe they have got used during school and other academic practices and this is one thing which they face now. Um, and the last, some students seem to believe that machine translation services like Google Translate are a substitute of knowing foreign language. And um, people, some people are absolutely, cannot make a difference between uh, a normal text which was translated by a human with the same text um, put in Google Translate and what, what the result was spit out. They just cannot understand that um, it is not grammatically, not, it doesn't make sense very often. So, in a conclusion, uh, these wiki projects, besides of the use which they, um, they gain, the, the, the benefit which they gain for Wikipedia itself, they very often uh, raise questions uh, which students are supposed to know, but they sometimes face for the first time. So, it's important also for them, for their education, to, to d get in touch with in, with Wikipedia. Our publications, in short, they are all in Bulgarian and I promised to um, translate them, but I didn't have time. But I hope that more to come. And thank you for your attention. <laughs> Do you have any questions? Could you please a bit closer because I'm really afraid that I don't, I don't hear well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are not our problems uh, of Wikipedia, but when if we want to recruit uh, newbies, 
this is very often a problem everywhere for, for all kinds of contributors, not only for yeah. students in university, but for university students is exceptionally shocking because they're not supposed to behave like this. They're supposed to know certain things and now when I said we have to face reality, this is because this is an exaggerated view of what happens on a global basis for, for all kinds of contributors, not only for newbies from, Wikipedia, from academia, for newbies from everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, during such a project, we collaborate only with one professor, the one who has dared to introduce Wikipedia in his educational practice. Um, we cannot collaborate with all of them, at least not directly. So uh, having all of these problems in a, in a slide is just an appeal to, to whoever from Bulgaria reads it to, to open their eyes, not to keep them wide closed. So. I, I just um, put the focus here because I do hope that people who are interested in, in this later, who, of whom we still don't know, uh, when they come and uh, say, okay, with our students we're going to do this and that, they're going to be aware of this. Um, yeah. We haven't practiced private wikis so far because uh, we wanted to, to make more people contribute. But um, maybe this is a good idea for future because all of these problems accumulate. So, um, but on the other hand, the more public it is, uh, especially, well, it's, it depends on how it is presented to students. But for instance, those students who were from the online media and PR, from the very beginning, we told them, register with your real names and make sure that whatever you do on Wikipedia is going to be added to your online identity. And this is one thing which they very much care about because they are going to be specialists in mass communication and very much, uh, of, most of them are interested in internet communication, internet PR, web marketing and so. So building their online identity is something that they care about. So uh, the more public it is, in, in this moment, if it is in a private uh, wiki, they, they wouldn't care so much. But when it is on Wikipedia, they do their best. I have to say that um, their teacher is really very devoted. Um, um, she's not Wikipedian, but she very much supports it. Actually, um, two years ago, we get acquainted after um, she and her foundation of Bulgarian um, BG site is called, uh, gave a um, very big um, and special award to Bulgarian Wikipedia for contribution to web space. And then I understood that she is leading lectures and so and so. So um, she very much cares about Wikipedia and this is why she tries to promote it in front of her students, but this wouldn't work in a private wiki. This only works in, uh, in the biggest wiki in the, in the world, in Wikipedia, because this is an incentive for them to build their online reputation, to, to build their name online. I think that you were the first. <laughs> I spoke with a colleague of yours about Russian incubator, but, but unfortunately, this coincided with uh, uh, the lecture, the previous lecture which I gave.
The boss. <laughs> Do we have time? Uh, yeah, there's one more question. Um, I think that, okay, <laughs> with those who would like, we can speak later. The ladies, <laughs> please. <laughs> Yes, yes, I understand the case. Okay. Um, the problem is here that um, I personally do not know teachers in these grades, and uh, those people who care about promoting uh, university projects and the outreach in academia are not so many. And if we don't have contacts with such people who are brave enough to introduce Wikipedia, then this is not a problem which we can solve now. But maybe if some teacher contacts us and says, We'd like to do something like this. We are open and uh, happy. Actually, we have we have Wikipedians which are age 11, and uh, they they grew with with Wikipedia, and they are really very experienced Wikipedians nowadays. But it's only a matter of let's say fortune. You other are fortunate enough to to be. <laughs> um, I present this experience only because we had so far universities and not because we, we are afraid of um, co collaborating with schools. This is the reason. Maybe this is, thank you very much. Thank you. Next is Salva. She's a Wikipedian for six years and she's an assistant professor from Iceland. Right? Uh, can I go? Yes. <laughs> I, um, I'm also, I, uh, my title of my presentation is uh, Wikipedia and the Commons in Instructional Design and Learning Activities. And I will uh, use this presentation to talk about my experience uh, in Wikipedia for, uh, as a person interested in education, and not only university education. Even if I teach at the university, I am in teacher education, and most of my students, they are teaching children as, uh, in primary school, and some are uh, preschool teachers. And uh, I started as a Wikipedia, and I started to uh, involve myself uh, very determined, mm -hmm. as, as you all that have been a Wikipedia, because it's a very hostile environment for most of us, just to, uh, because I think it is the only right way to research Wikipedia, you know, to become a member. And uh, over the years, I have. Um, um, been more of a researcher of Wikipedia, and I'm just now, uh, even if the, this lecture that I'm giving now is not very uh, research-based, then I want to s tell you that I'm very interested at looking at Wikipedia with use of um, 
with, with the activity theory. Um, especially activity theories um, put forward by Erja Engelström in Sweden and the, and the Scandinavian researchers. But um, uh, I will I will start to give a short background of myself or where I came from. And first, I like to tell you that I come from a country with a very small Wikipedia. We are very proud of our local Wikipedia, which have 32,000 articles, and uh, which is quite much compared to that we are only uh, 320,000 people speaking the language and living in Iceland. And you probably have mostly heard about my country through you know, news of natural catastrophes over the years. Uh, and you will, I can assure you that you have not heard the last of it. <laughs> we are expecting an eruption every, every, every year now. And just to, you know, uh, I write mostly in the Icelandic Wikipedia, and just for fun, I want to tell you that I, I write about natural catastrophes or something to do, have to do with the world in English Wikipedia. And once I wrote something about, uh, you know, one of these eruptions. And uh, the, it was, of course, most of the time delayed or denied until I had fixed the articles. And one time it was del denied the articles because it was not newsworthy. And tell that to those 20, to the, those people that missed these uh, 52,000 flights. But expect some more news from Iceland. But, and uh, just um, more of the background. Uh, it's not all natural catastrophes, it's a fishing uh, community with a coastland lined by, by small fishing villages. And uh, like in every village has a fishing factory, which in most cases is changing very much. In most of the villages, is, it is already closed down. If it is not closed down, it will be closed down. They are you know, getting bankrupt and because the production is, is changing. And that is ha harmonizing with what is uh, going on in all other fields of, or in other parts of the world. It's just in our cases, it's a fish, but in other cases, we are, uh, those that, uh, that the production is changing in the way that those that survive seems to be the people that adapt to new, uh, uh, get some new skills. And these are not maybe, the, it is now, we are living in a world where is, uh, there is more right than ever, than small is beautiful, so that the people that survive, the companies that survive are, are small companies that have, you know, are not these big factories. So we are going over from the industrial revolution into some new times. And about, now about the, uh, to the Wikipedians in Iceland, even if we are so few, there is a, is a group of Wikipedians in Iceland, and, and some are very interested in technology and contribute to the English Wikipedia. And we are, uh, I have uh, for the last several years tried to promote it with my students, all my graduate students, they are required to write Wikipedia articles. Uh, and all our undergraduate studies, uh, students, I think for the third year now, are required to write wiki articles. It is too difficult for them to write uh, Wikipedia articles. I have uh, thought about it, but, but as uh, you have probably heard from lots of uh, presentation, this is very hostile. And even if you are want, want to you have only a short time for students and you want to introduce them to wikis because it's very important because this is one part of writing. Then Wikipedia is probably not the best way if, to, if you want to uh, be sure that the student has a very positive uh, experience because <laughs> most of us, like me, and I, I've heard so many talk about it, we got, you know, slumped in the face 
our first article since you know, we are survivors, you know, and most of us become what we are the hard way. But um, But I want to uh, start by, um, you know, we should focus on how the world is changing and how is it, it is changing, uh, not only uh, the technology, but also how people co cooperate, that there are more tools to co collaborate and maybe we are built to co collaborate, maybe we are, you know, living things that, you know, seek to make, build some kind of a structure if we, if we have the opportunity to, and, it, and also network stru structure as, as cities. And um, uh, there is a lot changing in the way that, you know, in the, for, in the future that is already there. We have lots of tools that make it much more easy for, for most of the world to to get um, online information, like, um, or not online information, I mean information, um, digital information. And th we have seen just uh, over the two or three years, we've seen an uh, explosion in use of netbooks. And we, we most of us fo follow what is going on in the small computers that are, you know, geared to these. Uh, parts of the world, words or, or groups like small children. And they probably are always getting uh, um, and these $100 computers, one, uh, one laptop per child project I'm talking about. Uh, but I, uh, I want us to think about if this is, uh, we, are, we have the tools and I may probably you know, making these netbooks only uh, available to use, uh, you know, as a reader for PT files. Why not use it? Why, since most of the people have, have these tools, why not use it for something more, you know, uh, instructional? And I also, uh, I am, um, if, we, if we want to have a, some metaphors for Wikipedia, we could maybe think of it as a, as a map, as a map of the world, you know, as a, as a net, net um, as a mind um, map of, of uh, and I, I, this is one of, one of the maps that I found in Wikipedia, and it is, um, it is the Vinland map, maybe you have seen these articles, or it was the picture of the day uh, in Wiki Wikipedia Commons one day. And, uh, but it is not, I want to draw attention of everyone to that the map is not, uh, it's not everything, it's not the world, it's a, it's, a it's a part of the world, it's a picture of the world, and it's a, in a way, um, putting into darkness what is not a capable of, of, of uh, showing in the, in the map. And, the, and in, we live in a, uh, some years ago, uh, we had this problem that people did not trust Wikipedia and even academia did do not trust Wikipedia very much now. But we are now entering a world that people trust maybe Wikipedia too much. They, P Wikipedia, as you, as you, uh, I know some of you are, are, you know, following and writing Wikipedia, and we see that Wikipedia is, is very much copying the style of, of, uh, for example, academic writing, you know, referencing articles, etc. And we must be aware that this is, you know. Not everything is necessarily true in a world like that. You can, you, can be, you can fake some articles and you can be a good, fake it in a good way like the person. It's uh, still a debate about this map of it, if it's uh, fake or if it's not. I encourage you to read the uh, story about it, the articles about it. But, <coughs> just to focus about, 
you know, the future. Um, one of my former professors, uh, I, when I was in high school, I wanted to be in chemistry, and the uh, chemistry teacher, he, he told me when he was a student, at all times when he was a student in a foreign university, he spent several years learning to diagnose materials. I don't know if, a, but then there was a there was a technological innovation that made it possible to do that with, you know, machines. And um, then, if you have in a system like that, if you continue to have the, you know, still teach the same way, and you are doing something that is not useful for the for the future, for the students in this. But, but by, by some, something that, that did, was difficult, you had to teach in the, in the past, is now done with technology, then it freed up, frees up time to do something else. And it's just like uh, a shoesmith or, or a candle maker. It's, it's not useful to learn that skills today, even if it were very useful in, in the past. And I, like when we are creating um, educational materials or thinking about what to use in education, we have to, to, you have to focus on how, what kind of a future is waiting those that you know, graduate from our schools. And as I, it was on purpose, I, I talked about my community, this, uh, these fishing factories that are closing down. Uh, I, there are many, many signs uh, that we are entering in a new kind of um, uh, production. And actually, Wikipedia is one example of that. You know, open, open software is another example of that. Maybe the first one, maybe it, the devolution was, devolution was open software, then open uh, content like like Wikipedia and the, and the Commons and all these open, so, uh, open content projects, and we are going into a world where there is actual three-dimensional production in a maker culture, where people create and remix other people's stuff and create something, and then maybe they even uh, print it out. And this is a picture of, uh, actually, it's my daughter uh, making her Arduino, uh, Arduino boards in, in an open uh, hardware community, which is very much similar to, to the community that, that we have as a Wikipedia. And then actually, one of my research projects is you know, comparing Wikipedians with uh, those working in these open hardware communities. And they are, we, are, we are going in the direction of uh, do-it-yourself culture or maker culture. And just uh, as an example, I, I want to tell you that several years ago, I. I came across this word, hackability, and I wrote a Wikipedia articles about it, and I was so pr proud of it. So I was so proud of it because it was my first English article. And you would just try to see what Wikipedia has about hackability. It says the article has been deleted. They don't, they haven't discovered, they, they don't think it is important yet. And even if, uh, if you Google this word, then you see that the president of Mozilla says that it's very important. They did not find my article important enough. But, but uh, it is just um, to tell you that we are um, entering in a field where we have to design educational content to, to keep in mind in what kind of a of our society, we, we don't need any educational content which is like your students said, read something and then there is road learning and then you 
have tests to figure out how much the student has remembered of, of what he has read or done. Uh, and I, now I, I go into describing what I have been doing. I have been uh, uh, both using Wikipedia and let my students write in Wikipedia and also use the commons, but mostly I have used uh, uh, a local media wiki to let the students uh, write in a local wiki and link the articles into uh, commons and Wikipedia articles. And there are some advantages of using uh, local media wiki and one is that you can you can have have more control over uh, over the use of the local wiki and you can also uh, make it a safe place for students so so the so so they you, you will not have the situation as you have in, in the Wikipedia that somebody destroys your article immediately or, or changes it right away. So it's a kind of scaffolding. And the third, yes. And well, I, I'll skip this and I'll just show you as an example of, of what I have. I, I, used, I have used local media wiki, but I'm also, I started, first I started by, by designing, by asking my student to write Wikipedia articles, and then, and then I went through making them write uh, articles in the commons, in, in, in the wiki books articles. And I, Time to explain it, but I want to uh, um, put this as, a, as an example. Of, this is a picture that is in the commons. There are 10 millions of pictures or, or images in the commons now, mostly images, but there are video files also. And the, the last pre presenter uh, ended her presentation of saying, that the students you know, could not judge the information. And they, they were poor in, in finding information. This, is, this has nothing to do with a certain professor in a certain country. This is all over. We, are, we have not been training the students to, to find information and to, to, uh, to access the, the, to read the information, com and quality, but it, it is true about information, but it is even more true about pictures. And even if there is a huge database of images, 10 million images in the commons and a lots of images in, in uh, the Flickr, all licenses with Creative Commons licenses, there are very few that you know, can access these images. I can, I can have the skills to look for images. And even fewer have the skills to remix these images together, you know, use it together like this image is, it, it is a vector image from the commons that is created from th four images. And we should, we, we have to train the students to, to do that, to remix, uh, are not only text, but also images, and, and later they go into the open hardware. And uh, I think I have finished my time, so uh, I will finish now. Thank you.
But, but could you speak louder? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's very likely that non-technical teacher education student will never use it again. If, if the first experience is not uh, positive, and, we, and there is a lot at stake, we need the educators of the future to be, become interested in wikis. So we need to have the, the assignment, the first assignment in the in a environment that will you know, make them happy and make them feel that, you know, I could do it. This is not for computer geeks or, you know, you don't need to spend five years studying computers to write wiki articles. But I, I, I find it very fascinating, this, this talk that you said about remixing I images. Um, I, uh, yes, and I, there is also, I made an experiment once with students using Kaltura, which maybe somebody of you have used. This is working collaboratively with videos. And somehow students have to tune in to your thought. You, you, are, you cannot get them to do something too early. They found it, you know, they did not see any point in working collaboratively with, with video which is no, no other way than working, you work with five or 10 years ago, working collaboratively with text was something, you know, many people didn't understand. Now they don't understand that, that you create machines together. You know, you do that. You will, we will see much more of open hardware culture. And by getting into this, open content culture and open software culture, we are preparing us for that and our children for that future. And we need the teachers to become interested in it. Marvelous. Yeah, thank you very much.